Beloved, all the ideas that you would ever need to transform your life are inside of you. Now, why did I say this? Simple. Because all that you need for life and godliness is inside of you. As the scriptures have said, he has given unto us all that pertains to life and godliness. Also in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, God says that he has given you the power to get wealth and the power to get wealth is embedded in divine ideas. So do not forget that it's ideas that rule the world. What you need to make your life better than what it is presently is just one idea that God would drop into your heart. Just one idea that God gave Jacob. It became that idea that made him wealthy to the point where his uncle Laban envied him. He served Laban diligently for several years, but his uncle cheated him. God saw the injustice and God stepped into the case. You need divine ideas and not just money. Ideas will bring money to you. If you believe it and you're actually in need of this prayer, I need you to join me today as we pray that God gives us divine ideas and will cause us to lend to nations because that is His promise for us. Let us pray together in faith. I trust that God, after the end of these prayers, God will be dropping powerful ideas into your spirit man if you believe it say amen in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i come knowing that this is the authority that opens door for these prayers to be answered i pray for everyone that is under the sound of my voice and i declare the lord you will plant ideas that will transform their lives and turn our lives around in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that ideas that have been sleeping inside of you will come alive this instant in the mighty name of Jesus. I release supernatural ideas into your heart, even wherever you are, seated, sleeping or whatever you are doing. I pray for you that you will not be bereft of divine ideas. The grace to implement all these ideas also come upon you as the Lord gives you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I declare that all the powers of darkness that have been assigned to steal all the divine ideas that God will give to you today are arrested and sent into the abyss. I stand on the word of God and I say that the devil and his cohorts would not be able to hijack that destiny transforming ideas that the Holy Spirit will be dropping even into your spirit man. I declare that the Holy Spirit who is the spirit that can lead you into all truth will expose to you those mighty ideas that the world is yet to discover. Those ideas that will make kings come to the brightness of your rising and Gentiles to your life are released upon you in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the ideas will be always fresh and peculiar to the knees that it has been released in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that the day poverty and lack have ended in your family because the Lord God is giving you ideas that will bring you out of these shackles. In the name of Jesus, ideas that will pull you out of lack and penury are coming upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will plant ideas that will solve all your financial problems. Yes, ideas that would look not too wise, but because the word of God is upon it, the spirit of God will endue you with the ability to respond quickly to it. I pray for you that you have the power to get wealth and no force would be able to withstand or prevent them in the name of Jesus. I also ask for divine grace to implement the ideas and plans that have been given to you. Sometimes it comes as if it is nothing, but because God is in it, I decree and declare the quickening spirit of Christ that is right inside of you would give you the leverage to understand that it is godly. I ask that the Lord would give you the strength and wisdom to bring these ideas to fruition. Even when you begin to do them, I declare that you will learn to commit your ways and thoughts to the Lord. 
Even as you do this, the Lord will establish your plans and thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will give you the courage to step out in faith even when people think that the ideas are foolish. I decree and declare that you will not be afraid or ashamed to implement all of these ideas as God himself has given unto you. You will not be scared of implementing all the ideas that has been given to you by the mighty hand of the Holy Ghost. I decree and declare, no matter the resistance that would come from those that might have seen you or would see you about to implement it, you will stand your ground and nothing will change it. And the Lord God will back you up with his angels in the name of Jesus to bring the ideas into fruition. You will always have the assurance and guarantee that God is with you, knowing that the Lord is with you with every step as you take in the name of Jesus. I decree that from today, the Lord will begin to order your step into greatness and destiny fulfillment. The Lord will help you to walk in His ways and to follow His divine plans for your life. The plans of God are always good and I trust that He will guide you to success and greatness. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will rely solely on God's plan. You will never be afraid even when the plans look as if that they are not going as you thought would go. You will never be afraid even when it looks as if that the time that is taken is too long. You will stay with it. As Job has said in his word, I will wait until my change comes. Even as you implement it, I declare that the happenstances around you will not shake you from believing that God himself has given you that idea. I declare over you that you will put on all your eggs in God's basket. And as you do this, the Lord will reveal this will for your life, past season and time in the name of Jesus. Just as the children of Issachar understood times and seasons, I pray for you that you will understand the will of God for your life. And as you do this, you will birth mighty ideas and those that would change the cause of your life and the destiny of nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering all our prayers. This is the confidence that we have that if we ask anything in your name, you will hear us. And if you hear us, we are assured that you will give to us exceeding abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen.